So the aim of today is to test out five second and 10 second max hang on just a standard 15, 20 mil edge. I don't even know what it is, the bottom one of the beast maker. They vary. Um, I haven't fingerboarded since my finger has been heinous, so like a year. <laughs> Janelle's never done weighted hangs, so we'll see what the difference in our finger strength is. So like intermediate versus advanced climber, what is the difference? I think it'd be interesting to see what's different. We weigh exactly the same, um, so there's no weight excuses. So we'll just see the difference in the fingers. I'm only gonna be hella weak, but that's all right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, up for just five and down to the next one. One, two, and go. One, two. Three, nine, ten, up for five, one, six, four finger half crimp here, please. Let's go, and one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, a little rest now. That's good, because I'm struggling. Eight, nine, ten, we'll rest for ten seconds. Last one. Could be 15. Let's go. Six, seven, hold on, eight, nine, ten. All right. Oh my god, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. My tripod is broken, so this is just going to be on a tilt. This is going to give you guys a really basic finger board training. That was one of the things requested. So we're just going to start from the bottom edge, hang that for 10 seconds. If that's a pass, we move on up. really interested to see like how much I've lost my old 10 second I was only doing 20 kilos but I was never pushing it hard because my fingers are always been like iffy but that was like pretty comfortable and like 34 kilos for five seconds I think don't quote me don't quote me so that's too open come back down I need four finger half crimp please it doesn't like to stay on. well it has to because we're testing a four finger half crimp not a three finger open drag seven eight nine 10. All right, so now for you, because this is all new to you, you have to rest for a whole two minutes. This is where this becomes oh, what a extremely boring, but you actually need it. That was not too bad at all. A little bit fatigued towards the end, but I think I'm just not super warm. And I figure it's a really good benchmark right because it's the end of the year test it now we've got it all evidence to come back six months time you know before states see if we can actually add some solid strength onto your fingers be like this really quantifiable i like to test five and ten seconds because ten seconds more of like an endurance aspect like how long can your fingers maintain strength and then a five second you can usually hang a bit heavier but it, yeah so it's like what's the maximum power that you can exert for five seconds Three, two, one, time. Okay. Okay, that wasn't that bad. You made it. That wasn't that hard. Yeah, perfect. So that was six kilos. So what happens now is you rest two minutes, I go, and you got to eight kilos. I need the 12 plus the six. Three, two, one, down. 18 achieved. Right, eight kilos. Three, two, one, drop. Cool. That wasn't hard. That wasn't hard enough. So we'll try 12, but it might be gappy. I've had this issue with someone before, and then we had to go like run down and get a 2.5 um, plate. But we'll just, I reckon we go for 12, and then see what we, see what we need to do. Two, one, down. <laughs> oh, please. Yes, I did it! How to get out of the weight spell without using your left leg. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing this like an unco, I have a very bad shin bruise and I can neither kneel or squat on my left leg. So. You are approximately at a quarter of your weight. No? Yeah? About that? A little bit less than that. Ready? No. <laughs> Too bad. Seven. Six, five, four, 
three, two, one. You made it. Okay, so you were shaking like a leaf. That's actually starting to feel hard. That feels, but does it feel possible to add more? Yes. Okay, so I need you to go get a 2.5 kilo plate. Not going to have enough time to go max on 10 seconds and do 5 seconds at the same time. What we'll do is only test 10 seconds and then another time we'll test 5 seconds. I'm going to go straight to 26, probably fail and then come back down. This will be over half of my number, so that's, we're getting down with. Why don't I set this up on the board again? Because you're going to have to do that. 3, 2, 1, go! So 14.5 kilos, Three, two, one, and go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, time. Feel like you can go up a bit. <laughs> you should find a 10 rep max in like six hangs or less, I wanna say. Have I gotten done? I thought I was gonna do. Yes. I don't know what I expected. Well, actually, based on the warm up, I didn't expect much. Lifting weights, like, you know, when. Oh, I always do better in my, lower, my end reps than I do in my first. Few yeah, reps. but it's like your body needs to learn. Like, so it's like when you bench press, you might be strong enough, but your body doesn't understand the movement. Oh, no, my bench and press, my second set's always so much better than my yeah, first set. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. Your body's going, okay, I need to stimulate to hold on here and it's just figuring it out and it's just getting warm as you go. So like legitimate goes, you've done, I'm gonna say eight, 12, 14. So that's perfect, we're on, we're on track to get it in under five. So what I want you to do now is go straight to 18 mm -hmm. and we'll see how that goes. And then if we need to come back down slightly, then we've still achieved that in less than six sets. I don't know what the goal should be, like, we all sit at 26 and you are like an advanced climber. Yeah. So I'm almost catching up. I'm only, you know. But I would say mine is probably quite weak for an advanced climber. Yeah, because you haven't done your finger. But I've got a very bad finger. <laughs> so I'm happy with my weight considering looking at this horrendous oh, thing. Fun and go. You're a little late to the takeoff, but that's okay. Ooh. Cool. Get five seconds? You got five seconds, yeah? So you were like four seconds shy. So you got like six seconds. You need to take off the kettlebell and put on the 2.5 and the 1.5. 1.25. Okay, we're trying to get 10 seconds. This will be the last hang. Um Safe to say, like, Tenille's fingers are not a, a weakness in her climbing right now. Like, her max climbing grade is, say, V4 in Perth. That's a sandbag. Um, and But her fingers are really strong. So, for me, I feel like it's safe to say that we <laughs> need to focus more on her footwork technique than um, her finger strength. It's boring. But it's boring, yeah. All right, you ready? Nope, but let's do it anyway. Ready, steady, go. No. Eight, seven, six, five. <sighs> Probably a little bit fatigued at this stage. I have to call it at the one before. 14 and a half, perfect. That is a pretty solid finger strength for someone that's climbing around V4. Uh, Jake Daniel pulls up 25 kilos, she can hang 14.5 kilos off her fingers on a small edge. Um, she can. For 10 seconds she can deadlift heavy she can bench press like reasonable 40 kilos so what's the missing link it is her footwork 
slash technique on the wall, which she yells at me about when I try and um, fix. She just goes, I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it, my hip hurts, my leg hurts, my knee hurts. No, you need to learn how to use your hips and your feet. So we will be smashing hard. That's it. Shit's going to get boring for you, Tanil, because we are going to be doing footwork drills every single session. However, I will give this to you. Let's try and increase, I will give you a task. Let's try and increase that finger strength up to 20 kilos for 10 seconds. So what you need to do is 12 kilos, 10 second hangs, 10 seconds on, two minutes off, six reps, only once per week. That is your task. Correct? Cool. I don't know why I said correct. That's it. All right, peace out. Bye.